All right, we're in a single high defense here playing man coverage. Uh, Brandon is actually has the, the tight end, the number three receiver on his side. Uh, it's a third and short play. And what we noticed on film throughout the week and, uh, you know, that they didn't really use the tight end very much in the passing game. So Brandon just did a really, really good job of just, you know, understanding that, understanding the situation, being third and short and reading the quarterback's eyes and letting the quarterback quarterback's eyes take him to the ball right there. Did a really good job. And we call him Big Play BD, man. That, that's a guy that's been doing this for a long, long time. And uh, just him studying the game and just knowing routes and what the quarterback's thinking right there, being, being a couple steps ahead of him, just paid off. You know, this is probably one of the more fun parts of my job right here after these guys make plays, just seeing them have fun. You know, celebrating with their teammates, having a good time, and that's what it's all about. You know, these, these guys just loving the game. You know, oh, yeah. and it really shows right here and on all the other picks that we, that we get. Uh, well, right here, our coaches, you know, our defensive staff and teams just did a great job this entire week of just studying and breaking down these teams. So just pre-snap, we had already seen that it was a cut split by the ex receiver, um, number 13 there. So we already knew me and Jordan Jones was going to basically have a a uh, one-on-one, -on -one, two-on-two -two with uh, the running back and the receiver, me and him. And uh, just looking at it, we already knew that they loved the corner route. And uh, so, I mean, we seen it, basically guessed it, knew it was going to happen. Um, I been behind him, I seen the ball out initially. I'm just like, I hope he throws it, I hope he throws it. And uh, I seen it, I knew if it was going to be just a half an inch, like behind the receiver and not in front of him, I knew I'd get a chance to make a play on it. And uh, I was just lucky enough to get up and elevate and snag it down. Also got the toe tap in there. I don't know if you noticed that, but uh, we practice that though. We practice those things, and uh, our coaches just do a great job just day in and day out, just preparing us. You know, like, like you said, just the film study, uh, seeing that X receiver cut down uh, on that side with the back offset to his side. We knew that they loved the corner route from him with the choice route by the running back. And I don't know if you can see it or not on this clip, but Jarrell's actually making a break for this ball before the receiver comes out of his break which is amazing, you know, it's just trusting the film and, and trusting your instincts and going to be in a ball player. Beautiful play. Toe tap, keeps control of the ball all the way through the ground. Man, Jordan mean, did a great job sinking there. I knew he was going to have to put a little bit of air under it. For sure. Without Jordan, without Jordan, I'm glad you said that, without Jordan sinking right there, uh, the quarterback doesn't have to put as much loft on the ball right here. So it's really credit Jordan as well for, for doing exactly what he's coached to do right there. A nice assist on the play. It's very, it's very validating for, for me as a coach, just them making plays, them having fun. It just lets you know that you, you're in the right profession. Because it's, it's, to me, it's no better feeling than watching these guys celebrate after making big plays. That is the best feeling. Like money can't buy. Money can't buy that right there. So, you know, I, we live for these moments right here as coaches. All right, right here, we're in uh, our base coverage, uh, which is really awesome for our safeties because it allows them to be ball players, allows them to, to read the quarterback's eyes and let the quarterback take them to the ball uh, in a lot of situations. Uh, right here, uh, what Telly is doing is we're playing bracket on the running back and the number two receiver with him and the nickel. Uh, so both him and the nickel are reading the, the number three receiver, which right here is in the backfield being the back. All right, so the back actually goes up into the line of scrimmage to block, uh, which frees Telly up. And he just does a great job of uh, seeing the quarterback's eyes to the field right here, uh, and then going to look up uh, number two. Uh, number two ends up running an outbreaking route right here. So it just really frees Telly up to just be a robber. That's what we call it, a robber right here. He gets his eyes back on the quarterback and eventually catch a punt. <laughs> yeah, man, Telly, TP, man, that's Definitely one of the team favorites, very animated player, man. I mean, super athletic, a guy who's got a, a bright future, a lot of years left to play in him. And, uh, you know, just hearing him talk about these plays and things he's going to do once he gets the opportunity and just going to see it happen, it's just no better feeling. I mean, the guy is full of excitement, full mm -hmm. of energy. I mean, you can just see when he catches it. I don't know if you got a view of the sideline then, but everyone is going crazy. He had, he had been telling us prior weeks before that if he gets his hands on something, that he's going to take it the whole six or take it the whole hundred yards in this scenario. So we was definitely uh, ready to see what he's going to do with it. Got a great return. A couple guys got in his way, uh, but uh, 
definitely just great scenery. Love the game, man. Always good seeing these guys who don't get as many, may not get as many opportunities as the starters do, but just coming in and making the plays that they're supposed to make. You know, being in the right places, making the right reads, and really capitalizing on an offensive mistake. You know, but just again, you know, seeing these guys make plays and just being excited for each other. These guys, this is probably one of the closest groups I've ever been around. Uh, even when I was playing, you know, we weren't as tight as these guys are. You know, they, they love being around each other. They love seeing each other make plays. And it, it's infectious. You know, it's infectious when these guys make plays. And, you know, uh, it gets everybody else going. It gets our offense going. It gets the rest of the defense going. So it's really a momentum booster for us.